What's up, boys? Got the new improved Chiggy XR-2 motorcycle smart riding system. We're gonna put it on the Leaf on KPX 250. Let's go. Quick start guide right on the top cover. Looks like that's our tool kit. Splicing key fob, wiring, spacers, stickers, torque wrenches, and nice solid mount. This box is the Chiggy monitor. Waterproof connectors, and this is our cameras. 1080, 60 frames per second, camera connectors. And the XR2 user's instruction manual. Before we get this mounted, let's get an SD card put in there. Now you don't have to insert an SD card because it has a 32 gigabyte internal storage. But if you'd like to, it will actually record the photos and videos on that micro SD card. Just make sure you use a U3 rated SD card. I'm gonna put a 64 gig card in there. Push that weatherproof strip back in there and screw it down. On this bike I had to use a small spacer. Notice this has the little groove here that you can line up with the clamp. And the opening goes to this opening on the clamp too. Right like that. So I'm thinking right there looks to be about the best spot. I can still get it with my left hand if I have to touch it while throttling. Yeah, we'll go with it there. Notice these Torx wrenches are tamper proof. Pretty good idea. I noticed our mounting system, even on the last version, is excellent. This thing, once you lock it down, it doesn't move. It's really a good quality piece. Isn't that the most annoying thing when you have one that just keeps moving? The mount is actually machined so perfectly that once you tighten that clamp, you could still adjust this with a little bit of pressure. The back camera is the one with the longer cable, of course, where I'm going to mount it probably on top of that reflector. I might have to notch that plastic a little bit. That camera will flip up like that. That should work. A little grinder action. Get some alcohol, clean it off really good. Put your 3M sticker on. Get the wires run all the way up into the front. Now you can run this off the battery directly. Constant power. And then the yellow is switched power. But since that key already has constant power and switched power, I'm just going to tap in there. Save a lot of extra time. Get that front camera put on there. I'll probably put some screws in there. Cam F is front and B is back. This does have a 3 amp fuse in the power line. Now let's test which wire has power with the key off. It's typically the red wire. Yep, that one's power with it off. So now I'll turn it on. Usually it's the black wire, yep. So that's it, and green is ground. I use the bench test, but I didn't this time. Do a quick test, just stuffing the wires in there. Just want to make sure. The kit is supplied with those squeeze connectors. I prefer soldering my connectors. All soldered up, tucked away, tie wrapped up. Now I hope there's enough room behind this light. We will see. Oh yeah, plenty of room. All right, first boot, and we'll set it up. We'll do English. Time zone. It says to connect to a Wi-Fi. Let's do an update. Don't mind the fan noise. It's hot in my garage. Upgrading, installing the update, and we're back.
Let's try to connect Android Auto. Pair your mobile phone with the Bluetooth device. And we're connected. Huh. Playing through my phone. Alright, let's see what the settings are. Down means download. And it's like brightness, touch tone, startup sound, storage is on the SD card. Features. We don't have tire pressure monitors, but they are available. We don't have the OBD, but that is available. GPS. I'm in the garage, there's no signals. Oh, it gives you a 0 to 60 time. Huh. RC. Pair. We want it in miles. And that looks like about it. Take a screenshot. Switch front and back camera. Camera settings. Resolution. 1080p. Video length is set for two minutes. FUS out. So you can merge your recordings together. I'd rather have them separate. Select the data to overlay. Keep it all on, right? Yeah, it's all on. Mirror B. Collision shock. I keep that off because I go off road. Parking monitor. So if someone moves your bike, it records. I'll keep that off for now. That might be something pretty neat. Recording indicator light is on. Install the app from the App Store. Privacy policy. So you have to switch to XR2 and connect. Connect to the device. And we are in. Select front or back camera. You can take a photo. You can go into the saved. And choose this video. So you have to choose the front or the rear unless you combine them on the unit where the settings were that I showed earlier. It'll say F and B, front and back. Ooh, that's pretty good. When we're sitting in traffic, let's download this one. Oh, pretty quick download for the size of the video. It's a two minute video. 1080p, 60 frames per second. Shows the version here, user's guide, about, let's see how this thing works. That was a pretty quick boot. Kinda want that other, that one. That's the rear camera, that's what I want. Sugar sand, boy. Haven't had any rain since Hurricane Helene. Oh 
wonder if this has a built-in mic and everything. We'll pull over. Take me to the gas station. Oh, it's coming through my speaker on my phone in my pocket. I guess that's pretty good if you wear Bluetooth earbuds. So it'll come from your phone. I love having dash cams because you never know what's going to happen. In your car, on your motorcycle, ATVs. This catches what's going on behind you too. And you have a rear view mirror, kinda. Rear view camera. We'll see how close we gotta get to read a license plate. 1080 at 60 is a pretty good resolution. Speed is still off on that right there though. I don't know why. It has the latest update. We'll see what it reads out on the video. Look at that, there's a trail over there. I guess I'll turn around and try it. Anything good back there? A lot of dust. That's it? Yeah. Have a good day. dead end road that didn't go too far did it oh well that all works properly swipe up go to the camera mode definitely bright enough for bright sun because the sun's out pretty bright here in Florida right now and I can see that screen no problem at all you better be able to read that license plate so you definitely use this on a motorcycle an ATV four-wheelers anything you can imagine that would have a 12 volt power source maybe even a boat if you didn't get the cameras in the salt water Kept them up a little high. Now we can see if we can read some plates here. Unless I'm going too fast. something like this would be pretty awesome on a boat actually you can even mount like two of them together pointing out if you have an overhead roof or something to mount it up high it's funny because I don't think I've ever seen anything advertised for just a boat and if you put it on a boat I wonder if you can have Argo nav show up on there if it's an actual app that Android Auto will play. So when you're going somewhere, you can have all your stuff on the screen. Yeah, Chiggy makes some pretty good products. The screen is a little smaller, but you know, it fits good on this bike. I could see it clearly. I can read everything on it clearly because you're pretty close anyway. And you can see how far you lean down around the corners. I like it. The only thing that is a flaw is that speed down there. And I'm going to contact them and see if there is some kind of fix. One thing I do like about this too is when you download the video from your app, it goes straight into your photos. Oh, look at that. 22.3 miles total average 21 mile an hour hey that's all right 
I didn't notice that last time. So what do I think? I like it. I like that it's compact, it's fast, very responsive. It's over the air updatable. So any fixes they're gonna have to do to it can be done over the air. So I think it's a win. If you guys are interested, I'll put the links down below. Vin Cheezle approved. <laughs> hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products to use are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.